Yo, what's up? Here we go again, another late night vlog. I'm gonna try to be as articulate as possible, but I can't make any promises. At the front of the video was me and Mike. We were uh, trying out uh, this amp that he has uh, made by a company called Mule Skinner. And it's like bridges the gap between the brown deluxe and the tweed deluxe it's a very cool amp and uh, we ran a bunch of pedals through it zen drive the shinjuku uh, the barber gain changer uh, i believe there was even some line six like delay stuff going on in there very cool amp mm, I, I might get one i don't know anyway on that note, my store credit stands strong. I've bought nothing. And that's okay. What I want to talk about today is the peak Cornish pedals that I got a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, they're back here. In particular, the SS3. I'm going to compare the SS3 which we'll just, for better or worse, we'll call it about a $650-ish pedal, possibly a little less, maybe a little more. Uh, they're the professional series pedals with the big button, so eh, maybe they cost a little more. That said, I'm gonna compare it to, say, like a $50 overdrive in this Tube Screamer Mini. And, um, you know, just kinda see what 
an extra 600 bucks get you. I'm going to do that. And then a little um, rehearsal with the band, possibly. And uh, no telling what else I might throw in there. But that said, I would also like to talk about something else. Lately, uh, we have been playing super loud. And do you wear earplugs when you play? Um, I try to, and it's really hard um, for me. I, I just feel like it, I lose a lot of um, the feel. But I probably should wear them, and I'm going to try to start wearing them. I can't make any promises on that. That's it. Uh, let's get on with the... Uh, let's do the demo. Let's do that. Let's uh, let's let's test the Cornish against the tried and true the Tube Screamer Mini. Listen, Tube Screamer Mini. This thing sounds pretty good. I mean, it sounds like uh, the full size Tube Screamer. So I don't know how they rammed it in this little box, but but they did, and it's cool. So let's compare the two now. <laughs> Thank you. 
I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, yeah, the both pedals were kept at a minimum volume, and I uh, kind of went back and forth, and uh, even some with them together, which I thought was really cool because it gave the Cornish pedal some mids that it didn't actually have. That said, I think the Cornish pedal sounds way bigger and the Tube Screamer has a very limited uh, bandwidth of frequencies. That said, that Tube Screamer is such a familiar sound to my ears. Uh, for years I've played just a Tube Screamer, a Wah, and a JCM 800. So um, instantly I like the way that Tube Screamer sounds. The Cornish pedal is like... A more full like a flatter frequency range and um, it sounds really big and, and and it sounds good it's just uh, in a live situation it's real it, you know it's tough to hear um, like you want to hear it without really cranking it up I mentioned playing loud earlier and you know I would uh, imagine that uh, those Cornish pedals uh, those Cornish pedals are contributing to um, me cranking the amp up all the time so eh, you know take it for what it is it's just a quick and dirty little demo uh, but it should give you an idea of the perspective that just because something costs more doesn't mean it's better it's just different yeah, purple's no better than blue blue is no better than red to some people red is better than every color but you know it's all subjective <laughs> Thank you. 